Welcome to my first video about a Nimbus use case. I will talk about how we use Nimbus to create a user manual for our program, for our software. We have this manual in a German version and in an English version. You see here the English version and if I switch the workspace, so they are organized in different workspaces, you will see the same in German. So, who am I? I'm the owner of a small company. We are focused on digital publishing and we serve private people as well as business customers. For example, we have customers that use the software for a portfolio like this guy here <clears throat> you have an online book portfolio with your photos another use case is a magazine like scale this comes in two languages and i will show you how we use nimbus to support both the english and german language for the user menu and uh, another example is uh, just for private use a photo book so you can create books with all kind of content design it with word coral with photoshop whatever you whatever you like and you can then bring it into shape of a book how do we use nimbus to create this kind of books we have a software that is interactive and supports photos, PDF, all kind. And we have to describe how to use it, how to use all these menu items and what is the concept, what is the best way of doing things. And here Nimbus is a great help. We have an online documentation. So here on help, the Nimbus system will open. I first will show you the German version. So if we switch to the German scale book and then go to documentation, a shared link will open and show the overview of our manual and the description of all menus. If we switch to English version and do the same, if we then go to help and online documentation, then the English version of this documentation opens. And here we have two main regions. One is the manual and one is description of the commands and every single point here is a chapter a pages notes in Nimbus. I will show you in a second. So here the user can scroll down and just open what he feels will answer his questions like getting started first book. If he goes here the description of how to get started opens and it explains the first main view of the program and what to do with a couple of links, shared links, to other areas of the manual. Like creating a book from a PDF or creating a book from photos. You just click and you will end up on the page that describes exactly how to do so. This was a view as the customer sees it when he follows the direct link, the shared link from the program. Now I show you the same how it looks like in Nimbus on the web. Here we have Nimbus. It is the same menu, it's the same content and it's the English menu. The German one is 
another workspace, so I could switch workspace to go to the German menu. Let's stay with the English one. So what I did here is I created one single node, one page with all those links to the chapters, to the folders, files and nodes in the system. So you see here user manual, download and installation and here we have a couple of different subnodes and every node describes details of the program and step. So um, Nimbus is a great help because you can include videos, you can include um, GIFs, you can include um, audio, everything, and you can structure, you can highlight, and you can use links. And what for us is very, very important is those shared links. We can share that with customers and they can really dive into the system and use it. As a final remark, what we also use and find very, very helpful, if you go to the program and uh, go into certain areas like uh, getting started, you see this exact same window. We have little icons that will also link to those shared links and open the respective chapters, pages of the system. So this acts like a context help. If you click here, you again will end up on the page and uh, the note describing how to get started. It is very easy to extend the system, so I just check here on the main page where is a good fit, where should I add content. If I want to describe something here, I know, okay, I could add here a point 3.6, and then I go here into my uh, commands 3, and I find, okay, I have already uh, some chapters, and then I simply add a new note, describe it, and add the link to the overview, and that is the starting point for the documentation, and the user can use that and jump to whatever uh, he wants to see. The German version, the German manual, is another workspace. I separated both manuals in different workspaces to not mix it up, and I simply can switch to the other workspace and have the same. I have here my manual with all the points, with all the notes, and when I extend the system, I just add a German note with a new chapter, and in the other workspace, the same in English. So, overall, it's a great system. I love it. It is so easy to add content and uh, to structure it and to make it easier for the customer to understand and work with our programs. Good luck. If you have any questions, contact me and if possible, I will help you. Thanks.